Hello, coming to you from joyfultomato.com slash blog. Today's topic is yellow leaves on tomato plants and what to do if it happens. As a gardener, you constantly baby and care for your tomato plants. However, one day you walk out to the garden and you happen to notice that your tomato plants leaves are turning yellow, possibly wilting. Usually this yellowing takes place from the older leaves at the bottom of the plant and kind of works its way up to the top of the plant. Not always the case, but very commonly. Uh, your tomato plant is unable to cry out to you, ask for help, uh, so it's, its way of communicating is through its appearance. And as a gardener, it is up to you to be able to interpret what this change of appearance is meaning. Um, so now that you've noticed that there's a problem, what does it mean? First things first in your investigation is time to check the soil. Yellow leaves on a tomato plant can mean your tomatoes are suffering from various issues. And one of a common, common issue is a lack of nitrogen. A lot of times when a tomato plant has a lack of nitrogen is when the yellowing factor starts to take place. Tomato plants are unable to produce their own nitrogen, so they have to take it from the soil. And so first things first, check your soil and make sure it's it's just right. If it's too low, you start having the yellow leaves. If, if it's too high, you can start having uh, excess salt issues, and, it, and, it can, and that takes it into a whole other realm. Uh, other yellow leaf culprits just as people can get bacteria and funguses tomato plants can also get bacteria or fungus as well some tomato plants with yellow leaves have fallen victim to pests regular attacks by worms aphids caterpillars hornworms that sort of thing uh, and there's other signs for those as well what can you do if you discover that you have a lack of nitrogen uh, a lot of times you can either bring in a nitrogen based fertilizer um, some of the best organic methods, however, are using compost. If you have a, a compost pile, uh, once that's broken down, put it on top. You can use a well-rotted manure, uh, which generally are very rich in nitrogen. Mix that into the soil as well. Uh, if your plant has a virus, bacteria, eliminate the plant on, on an organic level. Uh, Viruses, bacteria are extremely contagious, just as they are in people. They're very contagious in plants. You basically need to remove the plant, the soil, uh, and, that, and kind of start that one over. That way it doesn't take out all your crops at the same time. Cry for help. If pests pose a threat, don't give up by resorting to harmful pesticides, chemicals. Stay organic by utilizing Mother Nature. Many times there are natural ways to combat pests in the garden. Aphids are a common headache for many gardeners. However, it's easy to get rid of aphids and have your garden under control by bringing in natural enemies and predators of aphids. And they have many, many enemies. You can put out bird seed to help with a lot of the pests. Bring in some of the local birds in your area, whether they're mockingbirds, woodpeckers, chickadees, um, cardinals increase that they they will feed on a lot of the bugs the worms uh, another thing is bringing in ladybugs a lot of local garden supplies will actually carry you can go and buy uh, however many they sell them in different bulks bring those into your garden they do no damage except for they do eat the aphids uh, and there's many natural enemies that you can deal with them and usually aphids are seen uh, a lot of times under the leaves uh, if the steps aren't helping your tomato plant, if you're not having success with it, visit your local garden center, uh, get with one of the specialists there, and, and see if there's something in, in your area that will definitely help uh, maintain your organic garden. Even though yellow leaves can appear for a multiplicity of reasons, it's nice to know that assistance is available to help your tomato plant grow up to be big and strong. Um, that's it for now. Hope this has helped with any of your yellow leaf tomato problems. Uh, thank you for listening and visit joyfultomato.com backslash blog for more great tomato gardening advice.